Hi, welcome back to another Nexus Core video. Before I get into it, I want to talk really quickly about Triple Sleeve TCG. Triple Sleeve TCG is a website where you can go and purchase case splits, booster boxes, and nation splits depending on what nation you guys want to pick up. In these splits, you guys can get full playsets of any card that you need. Triple R's, rares, double R's, you guys name it, you can get your playsets. Please go ahead and check them out at triplesleevetcg.com. Hi, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard and today I'm going to be opening up the fifth start deck the Tamari Seto uh, Aurora Valkyrie start deck for Overdress. So this is the Brant Gate uh, featured nation. So everyone has been making jokes about these cards being like these like um, very attractive female co space cops throwing horny people in jail. <laughs> Uh, this is a great way to start this video. So this is going to be interesting to kind of kind of jump in and relive all those memes when these cards are being revealed. So these are all the cards, the listed, the new mechanics that you can look into by scanning the QR to learn more. And let's just jump right into this one. So first thing that came out was the play mat. Get the rest out of the way real quick. So, if you haven't seen already, all the new start decks come with a playmat. Playmats are all exactly the same, so they all have a blue circle. They come with an order zone, which for this deck is going to be important. So, the order zone is where you're going to be setting your permanent order set cards. Um, damage 1 through 6. You have your ride deck, drop, the, or main deck, sorry. Ride deck is going to cut off on the side over here. Drop zone, trigger zone, and it does. The start decks do not come with rule books, so if you want to kind of learn more about what's going on with the rules, you can just scan a little QR code. So it's a Bushy's way of uh, saving money and making the uh, start decks a little bit cheaper by putting less stuff into it, which is also nice because you know nobody really reads those rule books anyway, so it's all good. All right. Let's see, I don't even remember what any of these do. So the ride chain is in the front, so let's get those out of the way. And the main grade 3 boss is Aurora Battle Princess Seraph Snow. During your turn, continuous, if one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets 10k. And if three or more are imprisoned, this gets a drive check. That's pretty good. Triple drive is nice. Act once per turn. Van or rear, count plus one, choose two of your opponent's rear guards and imprison them. So that's easy. So you just need three, right? So I'm assuming from my remem from memory that there's a way to get cards out of your prison. If it, your cards are imprisoned as the opponent. So you get four of those. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> it begins. Um, Aurora Battle Princess Rasat Pink. Uh, when this is placed on the Vanguard Circle, choose a, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and imprisons it into your prison. So it says right there, put into your order zone that has a prison. So they slide their card into underneath your prison card over there. If one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned, uh, this gets 2k. So very basic uh, rear guard skill, but the van skill seems pretty decent. So you get four of those. Next up, we have Royal Battle Princess Kyanite Blue? Kyanite Blue. Maybe Kyanite's a color, and I'm just not sure what that is. Um, excuse me. When this is placed on the van, search your deck for the one prison card. There you go. So you immediately get set up for the rest of the game. Easy. Uh, put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. When this is placed on rear, if you have one or more of your opponent's cards in your prison, Kyanite Blue, Solace 1, draw. That's actually not bad. I feel like people would still run this in the main deck for that skill, but I'm not sure. I feel like Canva Soul Bless 1 draw from place is pretty good. It sounds good. And the starter, Aurora Battle Princess Ruby Red. That's actually kind of cool. I, I really like this artwork for a starter. Road right upon, if you go second, draw a card. That's actually kind of cool. I like... I like the the very kind of like somewhat grungy aesthetic going on, and then we just have pink. <laughs> um, 
And then, yeah, you got Battle Princess over there. So that is the cards for the ride deck. Off to the main deck. Grade 3, Alert Guard Gunner. When this unit attack hits a vanguard, choose two of your opponent's regards and imprison them. Sounds bad, because it has to hit. So you get four of those, though. So it's a good rear guard support. It also seems like that the main boss uh, with Seraph Snow doesn't seem to buff any of your other units. It's just focused on getting like a drive check and power for itself. So being that there's no real way to buff these dudes, these are going to be really easy to guard. So I feel like this isn't good. Just my first impression. Next up, got a couple of grade twos in there. Get the grade twos out. So it comes with four copies of Security Patroller. When this is placed on Russell Plus One, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and imprison in your prison. Straight to the point. Just boom. Soul Plus One, you're in prison. So yeah. The sounds good so far just as a trial deck card. Gets the support right away. Helps fuel up for um, Seraph Snow's main like ability to get that extra drive check so seems decent i will say and the other grade two are there only three of them yep there's only three of this one uh it is a 10k vanilla and it looks like voltron yeah straight up is voltron <laughs> jeweled combination julian yeah, they, they literally did, they put the artwork in the name and they're like, bro, we don't, we don't know. Just call it the Jewel Julian. Like, we need something to fill the deck. So that's a throwaway card. Get, get rid of that as soon as possible. What is you? Autonomic Caution. If one or more of your opponent's cards is imprisoned, this gets 2k and 5k shield. It's cool, so it's a defensive card. Um, okay, I feel like there's better cards, but okay, like on a budget, if you really need the shield, okay. Um, what do we got here? PGs. Wow, that was it for the great ones. This deck is kind of lacking in a lot of power, which I'm noticing, but I guess that's to balance it out since imprisoning seems to be like a control aesthetic, so they're kind of balancing a control deck here. PG is Craggy Beast Kurgrand. All right. And when this is placed on guard, discard a card from your hand and choose when your units cannot be hit. If you can, try and get the newer PGs that are in the first booster set, the DBT01 Genesis of five grades. If you're on a budget, obviously, you know, you can, these PGs are fine too. It just, it gets the job done. What is this? That's over trigger. So we're going to triggers now. Over trigger is you may only have one over trigger in your deck. When revealed as a trigger, you remove this card, draw a card, choose one of your units, he gets a million power till the end of the turn. And if it's revealed during a drive check when your Vanguard attacks, you can do the additional effect. And the additional effect is down here, which is choose one of your units and it gets a million power. So if you reveal it as a drive check, you can pick two units, one from the trigger effect to get a million power and the other from the additional effect to get another million power. Or, you know, you can even give one unit two million power if you really need to, but I feel like that's overkill. So, there's that. Um, triggers. Aurora Battle Princess Yellow. Lura Loris Yellow. So this explains how crits work when revealed as a crit. So that's cool. Um, Aurora Battle Princess Amy Orange. So it kind of looks like she's got like a little crossbow or something in there. It's kind of cool. So we have four draw triggers, the three fronts, because the uh, the fourth slot for the over trigger. We're a battle princess, Fronte Rose. Um, that's actually really nice art. I wonder if people use fronts in this deck. Probably not. Crits are better. That's too bad. There's really good art to be wasted on a front. And lastly, Little little doctor, Aurora Battle Princess, True Screen. She's got a little little uh lab coat there. It's cute. Uh explain how heals work, you know, if you have four or more you can only have up to four heals in a deck. 
If you have the same or more damage than your opponent, then you can heal a damage. And the Order card, which is two copies of Galaxy Central Prison Galactalus. Free my boy. He did nothing wrong. Let him out. Let him out. <laughs> um, after, you, after a set order is played, put it into your order zone. So this just sits in the order zone. Um, rest one of your units to play this card. Okay. When this card is put into the order zone, Soul Blast 3. So I'm wondering if you have no soul, if you have to pay the cost. I'll come back to that probably in another video, <laughs> not today. Um, continuous order zone. When your opponent can normal call a rear guard, they can perform the following. Okay, when, order zone. When your opponent can normal call a rear guard, they can perform, perform the following. Okay, they can soul blast one. If they do, they choose one of their imprisoned cards and call it, okay? Or they can blast one and choose one of their prison cards and call it. So, so when they call a card first, then they can go into the step where they can use Soul Blast or Counter Blast to get a card out. That seems really easy, but also like abusing your opponent's resources like that. That's kind of cool. So you gain bonuses during your turn for imprisoning their rear guards. Then when their turn starts, they have to pay costs if they really want to get a card back. So they can either keep the card in your thing. You keep your bonuses because this stacks up. And if they start pulling them out, you can just put them back in. But there doesn't seem like a lot of things that imprison stuff. How many cards does Seraph imprison again? Two. Never mind. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> so since you can pretty much imprison two cards at a time during your turn, um, like it seems like you're going to have a lot of consistency with this, but it doesn't seem too broken either, which is pretty cool. I don't know if people need to run more prisons because I don't know if this can be retired. I don't think it can. So you just need to go through the ride chain, grab a prison, play it, then you're good. I don't know if you can set multiple prisons up once. I don't know if you even need. To... Hmm. Would that be even helpful to have multiple prisons? I don't think so, because you can just stack everything in the one prison. Yeah, so two makes sense. Because, you know, if you damage one and one's in your hand, you know, searching out doesn't really matter. But if one's in damage and you just search out the other one as you go through the ride chain. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And as I've been doing with all the other videos, let's uh, let's set up the little artwork that Bushy was kind enough to make for us. So, wait, the one, the two, the three, and where is the zero? There it is. All right, let's set it up. Twos go on the left, ones go on the right, zero in the middle, and these need to switch. Wait, no, oh, come back. So we got the, the hair lining up on the bottom and the uh, looks like the handcuffs are lining up at the top. So yeah, that's uh, that's how the full art works. Thank you, Bushy. You gave us space cops when people wanted robots and aliens. Cool. All right. Um, so that was it for the unboxing. I want to give a quick shout out to Triple C TCG for providing today's box for the unboxing. So go ahead and please check out Triple C TCG if you want to upgrade your decks for future support. So for example, if you are planning on upgrading your Brent Gate start deck and getting better cards, newer cards for it, you can go to TCG.com, click on the next upcoming booster set, and you can click on Brent Gate, and you can get uh, full play sets of every card of the base rarity, so from Triple R's down, so that you can get all the cards just needed to build up your, to upgrade your deck. So, and it's always good to get play sets because you never know if a card in the future might be more relevant as the game progresses. So it's always good to get play sets just so that you can have the exact amount you'll ever need to make your deck as best as you can make it. So definitely give Triple C TCG a try. And if you're really not familiar with case splits and stuff, they're really good with shipping and everything so you won't have to worry about stuff like that so thanks again for watching if you have any comments questions or concerns just leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you on the next video bye